Hello guys, it's uh, Razor Sharp Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix this problem on the Xbox app. If you can see it, the network settings. Another uh, way to detect this problem is clicking the little gear icon here to go to your settings. Go to the network tab, network tab right here. And as you can see, it'll say Toretto address not obtained. It'll give you a link here to fix it. But um, I'm going to show you one of the ways to fix it as well, because this is one of the easiest and, I wouldn't say quickest, but it's like one of the most uh, popular ways that fixes the problem. Okay, so um, just check here to make sure that this is what it says. Um, one, one really quick thing to do is to check your proxy settings by clicking your network settings, your Wi-Fi settings, and then click network settings and then click proxy right here make sure that there's no manual proxy setup and that there's no automatic proxy setup it's always all of the settings are put to off if they're if it's on the proxy then that means that the xbox servers cannot be contacted and it's causing issues all right so um as you can see we have a problem all right i'm gonna have a link to the zip file that i I created the code in in the description it'll be to a Google Drive um, it'll be a zip folder so you don't need WinRAR you can just use Windows and there's no password or anything for it but what it comes with is it comes with two batch folders or folders batch files um, uh, you do need administrative privileges to run both of these but um, what was I saying yeah, you need uh, administrative privileges to run these. But other than that, you don't really need anything. I mean, you need an internet connection, obviously. But. All right, so um, first thing you want to do is make sure, obviously, that the Xbox app is closed. And I'm running, or I'm recording with my phone because uh, I'm going to have to restart the computer. And I want to do this all in one clip. And I don't want to have to make multiple little clips. So, yes, it saves me editing. All right, so... um. You just download this link to Google Drive in the description of the video. All right, so what you want to do is you want to uh, drag both of the files onto your desktop or into another folder or something. It, it popped over here. I'll drag it. That's where you can see it. All right, so here's the two files, step one and step two. You want to run step one and then run step two. All right, so let's run step one. Run this administrator. All right, it says must be ran in admin mode. It says OK because the script ran to disable it. And then it's telling you don't forget to disable any device named with Toretto. This is what you must do before you restart. So you want to right click here at the start menu. Go to device manager. Then you want to go to, you want to click view. You want to click view right here and click show hidden devices. It should be the second from the bottom. Then, once you do that, you uh, click network adapters and find any device in here that says that uh, says anything to do with uh, Toretto. I'm gonna search this really quick just to make sure. Uh, okay, it does not say anything. All right, so that is good. If there is anything that says that uses the word Toretto in it, just right click and click uninstall and then click OK for, for it to uninstall. Alright, so I don't have to install anything. We're going to click this and we're going to restart the computer. Shut down anyways. Alright. We shall now wait. I'm on an SSD so this will be quick. It should take like 10 seconds. Hmm. That was a weird sound. I don't know what that was. I think that was the connect. Yeah, I use a connect as a webcam. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. So, log in screen. Password is put in. All right. Now, when is once that is done, you want to run step two. Run as administrator. Yes. It says must be ran in admin mode. 
Okay, script ran. Everything should be good. Now you want to wait 10 seconds or so. Then you want to... That's GPU software. Okay, so you want to click start and go back to device manager. Then view. Show hidden devices. Yeah, okay. And then, as you can see, there is now... Toretto Tunneling Pseudo Interface, which is the, um, what's it called? It's like the drivers to, so the computer can connect to the Xbox, uh, servers. This will also fix connection problems and DNS problems for Forza Horizon 3, and I know it's fixed a couple other Windows 10 games. Alright, so let's go ahead and test it. Let me find someone in a party. Uh, shout out to my friend Psycho. I'm gonna join this party real quick. Alright, okay, two people in. And this should work, it should work perfectly fine. As you can see, it works. And the mic works. Okay, so. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching, and um, just download the, the zip folder, the zip file in the description in the video. Yes, that's message. Okay, so, just download the zip file then run the first one, then go to um, device manager, disable any uh, disable any Toretto device, and then restart the computer, and then run step two. All right. I'll leave a, a notepad instructions in the zip file as well. All right, so thank you guys for watching, and uh, have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.